What's up, y'all? Got a family fee, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into King and Lena mad after Kaiser was referred. <laughs> Wings, so now some things popped off on Kaiser's sixth birthday after his father King posted a message to his son on Instagram. He states, Happy sixth birthday, Kaiser, my superhero slash superstar. Daddy loves you. I'm so happy and blessed that you are my son. You're so cool with a lot of big things ahead of you. I'm always proud of you and always right here by your side. My firstborn, Kaiser. Thank you. Without you, I wouldn't be as good as a father to your sisters if it wasn't for you coming into my life and changing my life to the biggest Virgo I love you. So now King and Lena are still out in Thailand right now, but in the comment section of that post, people started <laughs> stating things like, you're too late. Dwayne already posted his son. <laughs> <laughs> Another person states, happy birthday, Dwayne Jr. You looking more and more like your pops every day, little man. I just know your mommy and father going to celebrate your oh day the right way. God. Shout out to Dwayne for being a great father. <laughs> so King and Lena had enough and they started firing back. Now someone states, happy birthday, Dwayne Jr. King responds with, you look hungry. Go eat. Another comment states, Happy birthday to Dwayne's son. And Lena responds. Sloppy face is sloppy as fuck. Go fix your lace trying to be funny. With sloppy as F. Go fix your lace trying to be funny. Someone else comments. See you. I ain't gonna lie. I would have just cut the comments off. Next year, son. Mm. And King responds with where your man at? Your kids look like they ain't seen him in three to two years. So people three began to, to get years, even more upset because they felt like King and Lena were actually body shaming the people that oh they were responding God. back to. Now, child, you, you so messy win. left a comment that stated he can't even have his own birthday post without a mention or of the other kids. Damn. So if it wasn't for Kaiser, you wouldn't be a better father to your daughters than him. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I wouldn't have made that statement. I wouldn't have made that statement because of, you know, how other people feel and the fact that he's there for the daughters more, but that's just me. So it's his fault he gets less. Now, Nick did post a video of Kaiser on Snapchat and you can actually hear him in the back talking to Lena and his sisters. Uh, we got Lena in the cut. We got Ocean in a little cut. So honestly, it's just good to see that Kaiser is not affected by. You, know, you got Lena in the cut. We got Lena in the cut. We got Ocean in a little cut. <laughs> Ocean the cut. So uh, I love his personality. Honestly, it's just good to see that Kaiser is not affected by any of this that's going on. All he sees is that he has a mother and father that loves him, and they both have partners that love him as well yeah, let's, he got four parents out here the vibe let's move on to this <laughs> next topic some very sad to report that rapper rich homie kwan did pass away at the age of 34 I'm definitely praying for his family and his loved ones now crystal posted up a video on instagram i'm guessing to kind of show her support towards him playing his music in the back and dancing <laughs> comment section were getting very upset at her saying things like girl it's not even the time you always on some weird clout chasing ish i would have told her to spell weird correctly first one thing y'all can't spell in this generation is weird stop saying it if you can't spell weird stop saying it because what someone else states crystal oh not right now so it got so bad that someone had to ask wait what's wrong with her using his song and crystal responded with nothing at all they probably can't tell me six songs by him may rich homie kwan rest in peace but let's move on to this last topic with chris and queen now you guys know all of this drama that has been occurring 
ever since Queen and Clarence posted up these photos with this bride to be. Now, yesterday I stated that Queen responded after Chris was pretty much laughing and making fun of the fact that Clarence still hasn't proposed to her. Now, I'm not going to read this message out because I did in my video yesterday. So if you guys want to check that out, I will link it down in the description. But long post short Queen basically stated here that Chris isn't giving her any money for child support. She also stated that she would rather be in a long, healthy relationship than an unfit marriage like she was with him. She also states that he is a delusional, narcissistic liar and that he needs to change his ways because <clears throat> he isn't teaching their son. My thing is, Chris, where does she lie? anything positive Where's she lie, also Chris? hopes that her son doesn't turn out like him so now this was chris's response to queen's post look man y'all know how to come tell my side of the story look i, I, I don't think i want to watch this oh god no you don't put somebody on child support that take care of their child uh, insecure i may have added a little razzle uh, whether it's v bucks anything he know he got it only thing I v bucks man B bucks. Like, I see why people get locked up behind shit like this. Like, because one thing I hate is my intelligence being insulted. That is one of my biggest pet peeves. Like, you know what you want. And the fact that he think V-Bucks is contributing to his son's upbringing, it's crazy. I mean, no graduation, no pop-ups, no nothing. I just, it takes way more than money to raise a child. Lord knows you need it. But damn. <laughs> Clearly they text and talk all the time. But like, come on, man. It just really bothers me. It does. It does. Because he just don't get it. And that right there would just send me to another place. Because... Why don't you get it? Like, imagine me like, I don't have it to take care of him. Like, what if it was one of those situations? The fact that he knows she does, he's just being a dick about it. I don't know why he on TikTok instead of Snapchat. <laughs> You'll make some money over there. You can get Queen of Clarence money. You take your ass over there on Snapchat. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. He drains me, literally. Uh, love you. I appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.